welcome to a new video. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And in today's video, I will be painting three fruits, including apples, papaya, and avocados. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I do is a quick pencil sketch of the outline of the fruits. So starting with the apples, I mark out the halfway line as this is a guiding line to draw both sides of an apple more or less symmetrically. Each half has an ear shape where it curves more widely at the top and narrows at the bottom. Then I added the stalk at the center at the top of the apples. For the top of the apple, I drew it so that you could see some of the skin where it dips in at the core. By simply drawing a line that connects the two curves at the top of the apples, but having the line slightly curved towards the core in the middle. Then I drew two seeds in the middle of the apple. I drew the apples at an angle from each other, so to give it a simple composition. The middle one is a papaya. So this is an avocado shape, to put it simply, but at the top and bottom, it has these bump bumps. At the top, it has a slight opening, and then at the bottom, it curves inwards at the core of the fruit. Then I drew the hollowed out center, which is more of an eye shape. I made sure to leave a thick border between the hollowed center and the very edge of the fruit. Then I drew a bunch of seeds in a circular shape. Then onto the last fruit. The avocados are in an avocado shape. I'm sure you know what they look like with a wider round lower half and then a narrower top. In the center of the wider half of the avocados, I draw in the pit or seed, which is a chestnut or egg shape. Then to make the avocados more three dimensional, on one side of the avocado, I follow the curve of the outer edge, but I extend it so that it has a little border to suggest the side of the avocado. Right, and that is the sketch done. I lightly rub out the sketch so that the pencil is faint and won't be so obvious in the final painting. Then we can start painting. I start by painting the background for each fruit. I chose these background colours based on which fruit it was surrounding that would provide contrast or will be complementary. So for the red apples, I chose blue and for the orange papaya, I chose purple. You can choose the complementary colours if you are not sure of what colours to use. So for red apples, a green background, um, the orange papaya will have a blue background. But these are just suggestions, whatever you want it to look like, just go ahead. When painting the background, um, I make sure to use a big brush with plenty of water and paint so that I can make my way around the entire fruit very easily. You could also pre-wet the entire background with clean water first and then add your paint to make a more even tone. Okay. On to painting the apples. I pre-wet the inside area of the apples, so where it has been sliced, and then I add red paint to the very edge of the apples. To allow the paint to blend more smoothly, you can clean your brush, remove the excess water, then with your damp brush, you want to brush over the red section so that it can blend more smoothly rather than that prickly, jagged bleeding effect. For the rest of the inside of the apple, I added a little bit of yellow. Mind you, this is quite faint. And then I also added yellow ochre for the core of the apple. I added ochre in a vertical line at the core of the apple and around the seeds. Then I let this layer dry 
and moved on to the papaya. Very quickly before I move on, don't forget to like and subscribe for weekly Saturday watercolour and drawing related beginner tutorials. I would really appreciate it and would love for you to have fun creating with me. Okay, back to the video. For the papaya, I again pre-wet the majority of the papaya and then I add a bright orange for the outer part of the fruit, so excluding the hollowed center. At the very edge of the fruit, I added a yellow and also a little at the top above the hollowed center. For the hollowed section, I kept it really light with a faint wash of orange. Then I left this layer to dry and painted the first layer of the avocados. So I pre-wet the inside of the avocado, which is the yellowy area. I add yellow and a little ochre near the seed. Then I add a dark green at the very edge of the avocado, just like how I did with the apples, but a little less paint, keeping the green border quite thin. Then I let this dry. I used a very dark brown to paint the seeds for the papaya. You can add these randomly in the hollowed section. But I group some seeds together and some by themselves and some along the edge of the hollowed section. With some of the seeds I left a small dot for the highlight unpainted to suggest its shiny surface. These seeds are small and there are a whole lot of them, so using a thinner brush would be helpful. Going back to the apple, I painted in a thin line around the edge of the sliced area to suggest the skin. I painted in the seeds and added light lines of yellow ochre to again suggest the core. You want these to be light wispy lines, so have a damp brush with only a little paint. Then I painted the stalks which get a little darker closer to the core. Then I let this layer dry. Back to the avocado, I painted in the seeds using two or three browns. I added the darkest brown on the side of the seed that is closest to where you can see the side of the avocado skin section. Then I painted the dark skin edge of the avocado, making sure to paint in short curved strokes to suggest the bumpy texture. Then I paint the red skin of the apple near the stalk. After I painted a second layer for the avocado skin and added curved lines on the avocado seed to suggest its curved form, then that is the avocados done. The last thing I do on the avocados is using a brown. I lightly add lines for the shadows on the apple skin as the apple is dipping down towards the stalk and I wanted to suggest that. Then the apples are done. For the papaya, I added a dark orange outline to the fruit and also around the edge of the hollowed center. For this edge, I painted a little gradient so the edge was darker and lighter as it reached the very center of the fruit. And I did this gradient by wetting my brush and blending out the paint so that it became lighter. Right, that is all three done. Then I removed my masking tape, did a pen outline around each fruit design, and there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like painting fruits and veg, then you can check out my fruits and veg playlist. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my other watercolor beginner painting ideas to have fun with. That is all from me. So as always, God bless and I'll see you later.